Al-Jabasha neighborhood in Jerusalem's old city is all but deserted as only a few residents pass through its narrow streets on their way to Damascus Gate. But the area wasn't always like this, and evidence of a once bustling community center remains. So we have many activities we do. For example, we have summer camps, we have uh, journeys to visit places and tours in the old city and outside the old city. We have courses, for example, in how to empower uh, students in their uh, schools, English, uh, uh, for example, yeah. mathematics. In July 2009, the Israeli authorities closed the Nadal Center. Relying on Israel's anti-terrorism laws from 1948, they argued that the center was conducting activities that threatened Israeli security. They also said that the center was working with the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. According to Jeddah, these claims are completely false and are being used as a way to limit Palestinian civil society in Jerusalem. For the main reason, I believe they don't like to, fear to have any organization that can that really work effectively in the society here. Because our aim is how to raise up uh, youth and children in the right way, people, uh, to how to enforce in them human rights values and how to live as human beings in Palestine here and uh, everywhere over the world. So my opinion, I don't find any justification for the conflicts, for the wars between people. So the only way to change is how to, to get uh, educated on human rights values. I believe it's the only way to make a change here. So that's what we're doing here. Another area of Jerusalem where Palestinian leaders and organizations have been targeted is Silwan. The information center is uh, providing uh, news, providing uh, uh, awareness to the people, to the Palestinians, telling about our village, telling about the history of our village, telling what is happening behind the tourist side, that it's uh, ignoring the fact that we are here, and uh, uh, insisting on the Palestinian identity of this neighborhood. Siam was arrested earlier this year for allegedly assaulting a Palestinian neighbor in Silwan, an allegation he emphatically says is a lie. Instead, Siam explains that he has been targeted because of his political activities and because he has worked against the gradual takeover of Silwan by Israeli settler groups. What the settlers tried in the last uh, years to make the Palestinian identity uh, not existing in this neighborhood I am working on this, uh, on this level in, uh, to, to, to prove that Sirwan has a very a Palestinian identity and Sirwan is a part of the, of the future uh, uh, capital of Palestine. It's a part of, uh, it's a part of uh, Al-Quds. According to Mahmoud Jidda, the Jerusalem municipality has altogether ignored the needs of the city's Palestinian residents. And this reality has made organizations like the Wadi Hillway Information Center and the Nadal Center so important. We believe we are under occupation. We don't have our own system. We don't have our own uh, municipalities. We don't have our own ministries to take care of the community here. And there is really there is a big lack of uh, community centers in Jerusalem. So the only way we have to try to fill uh, that thing here with our efforts here. And we believe we have the right uh, to move freely. We have the right to get our education, to get our own ideas. It's uh, very simple. If you go to the all human rights norms, you give us that right. So why we don't do when we do some activities to take care of our children, our youth? It's uh, legal. I don't know why. Back in Silwan, Jawad Siam has spent close to three months under house arrest, and his legal proceedings are still underway. He explained, however, that even if he is put in jail, the struggle against the Judaization of East Jerusalem will continue, with or without him. Israelis don't understand that we love our land, we will not uh, leave our land. And they don't understand once they catch Jawad and put him in the jail, they will have more Jawad on the streets. That is very clear. And each time they arrest me, each time they try to make me problems, there are more and more people coming and uh, show support and they ask me how can, what they can do. It will continue with me or without me. I would love to be a part of it, but if not, there are many other people who will do it. 